<laughs> Kamala Harris, you're not Trump. I'm sorry, you're just not him. You're not one of those ones. Look, Kamala Harris held a rally in Houston, Texas, and it descends into chaos as she fails to control the rally attendees. Now, booze and yelling, all that was happening, and it was heard at the rally as Harris failed to calm down the rowdy crowd. It's unclear at the moment what exactly is going on, but look. Now, everybody who knows me on a personal level know that Beyonce just, she just broke my heart. Yeah, I know y'all, you know, I, I know, I know, I know. Look, e even, um, you know, Queen B Reacts knows about this, I'm telling you. Um, <laughs> but she just pulled up to the Kamala Harris rally, man. I don't even know if she pulled up. I haven't even seen the clip up. I'm Beyonce, honestly, I'm Beyonce. I didn't watch the rally whatsoever. Uh, we all just checking out the clips online. I'm checking out all the clips online in real time. Uh, I'm out of town right now. But anywho, <sighs> Kamala, you know, if you're somebody who who's a believer of Christ and you're somebody who believes in God, this right here is definitely going to be challenging and triggering for you to watch because, I mean, it's a, uh, it's a blatant contradiction to what their belief system is, right? Um, but this is the Kamala campaign in a nutshell, right? She brought up all these doctors to say how much they love and supported abortion. Someone in the crowd had a medical emergency and called for a medic. Not one of the abortion doctors helped him. Spot on. Sincerely becoming ill and dying. <laughs> Nationwide. You can hear him. I, I think someone needs some medical assistance over here. Not one. Wow. Wow. Now, obviously, we heard the doctor, you, you know, mention that somebody over there needs medical attention. But I'm just saying you have all of those doctors sitting there looking in that direction. Not one of them tried to jump off to the stage. Not one. Like nothing. You just, oh, you know, somebody over there, bro, you go with somebody drowning and you a lifeguard and just call another lifeguard. That's crazy, bro. That's crazy. This is definitely the Kamala Harris campaign. But uh, my heart is broke. I found a clip. Beyonce announcing that she's supporting Kamala because of abortion. It's town. We are so 
happy to be standing here on this stage as proud country Texas women supporting and celebrating the one and only Vice President Kamala Harris. A woman who's been pushing for what this country really needs right now. No, Unity. she hasn't. She ain't been pushing for nothing. If anything, she been pushing to prevent people, from, women from pushing. You know what I mean? Abortion, right? It's impossible not to feel the energy in this room. Yes, it is. It's impossible. I mean, um, it looks like her uh, dead energy. <laughs> The humanity. We are at the precipice of an incredible shift, the brink of history. I'm not here as a celebrity. I'm not here. You're not the celebrity, Beyonce. Really? What do you have? What, 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 you're the. That's the literal reason why you're there. As a politician, I'm here as a mother. A mother who cares deeply about the world my children and all of our children live in. Oh, she's reading straight from the leftist media script. I'll stop pausing it right here, y'all. World where we have the freedom to control our bodies. A Birth control. We're not divided. Our past. Condoms. Our present. Our future. Merge. Celibacy. Lead us here. Imagine our daughters growing up, seeing what's possible with no ceilings, no limitations. Imagine our grandmothers. Imagine what they feel right now. Those who have lived to see this historic day. Even those who are no longer physically with us. Imagine all of their sacrifice. The sacrifices made so we can witness the strength of a woman. Standing in her power, reimagining what leadership is. For all the men and women in this room and watching around the country, we need you. Your voice Not me. has power and magnitude. Your vote is one of the most valuable tools, and we need you. Your freedom is your God-given right, your human right. Everybody say Texas. Texas plays a pivotal role to change the course of our future. Texans and Houstonians from Third Ward. River Oaks, Sugar Land, Fifth Ward, Ailey, Memorial, Southwest Side, North Side, all the way down to Most City. We all wow, wow, um, wow, uh, Beyonce, you're supporting her because of access to abortion up until birth. Um, yeah, man, a vote for the Democratic Party is literally a vote for like our side and the other side. That's all I'm gonna say. And they're running the platform on literal, like unaliving. Literally, they're running their whole campaign on, oh, we just want people to have the opportunity to get rid of uh, something that they didn't have to create in the first place. Come on, man. And then how you as a black woman knowing the amount of abortions in the black community from black women, you know, which is in the millions and, and you know that and then I don't know. I don't know. I have no clue. Very disappointed, man. Very disappointed. I think these people are smarter than this and they know better. Somebody said, I find it real coincidental. Coincidental. The same people endorsing Kamala and doing her rallies are the same people who names show up at the Diddy parties. Mm hmm. You see Leonardo DiCaprio, uh, you know, doing this thing as of late now. I don't, I can't accuse them of doing anything specifically, but you know that they were being mentioned on this Diddy list as well. Almost like the government arrested Diddy and has admitted they have the recordings. Um, let me see. Americans can't afford to buy groceries, gas, or house. So Kamala Harris brings out rich celebrities to preach about abortion. It just don't, it definitely don't land well with people. You know, I'm here. I'm not here as a celebrity. I'm not here as that. I'm here as a mom. No, you're there as a celebrity. 
you're definitely being used as a celebrity. All them campaign funds is being used as that. It's just really, really heartbreaking. Um, show me a show me the decent woman that would rip her living eight month old unborn child out of the womb at her own convenience. I don't, I don't get it, man. Uh, how many abortions have Jay Z shy chicks had? Somebody said, Ooh, "Y'all going for the juggler, boy? <laughs> oh my gosh!" Uh, but yeah, you know, it's it's a lot of stuff that's surrounding this Democrat agenda right now. And the only thing that they have is to bring celebrities. You know, her rally, in my opinion, was a complete disaster. You know, you got people constantly heckling her, booing her. Uh, it was just a complete downward spiral, if you ask me. Um, but Kamala's rally was literally her rallies aren't really rallies they more like free concerts because she's always bringing out celebrities always bring she need huge i'm not saying trump never did it but i'm saying she relies on it she relies on celebrities in order to uh you know make her mark i'm trying to see what else they got going on here now all jokes aside just to get to something on a serious note um jocelyn nugare new i don't know how i say her last name i apologize but jocelyn was a toy girl from houston texas who's Tragic, unalive, and in June 2024, captured national attention due to the circumstances surrounding her unalive. <coughs> Excuse me. She was found um, in a creek in North Houston, and the investigation led to the arrest of two undocumented immigrants from Venezuela, uh, and uh, which are uh, Johan Jose Martinez Rangel, Rangel and Franklin Jose Pena. Uh, Ramos, and they were charged with the murder, man. Wow. And Jocelyn was described by our family and those who knew her as a kind hearted and um, someone who has a bright future. He had reportedly snuck out of her home and was last seen alive with the two suspects at a local convenience store. Now, the reason why I'm bringing this up is because you just seen, um, you know, Beyonce go up there and speak, obviously, at the Kamala rally. But Jocelyn's mom just destroyed. Kamala before her rally with Beyonce in Houston. Uh, quote, the, Bal the Biden-Harris policies have, we have here, are why she's not here anymore. My son will forever be a grieving brother. Kamala Harris never reached out to me, end quote. And this is the woman that y'all want to be the leader of the free world. Uh, I want to thank everybody for, like Donald Trump, really, for the opportunity to be able to say my daughter's story. Um, I know everybody knows somebody that was like her. She was 12. She was going to be a seventh grader. Preteens, they, they think they're invincible. And um, she was just being a child. And due to the Biden-Harris policies we have here are why she's not here anymore. She was taken from her vulnerability. And they made her a target and ran with that. And now I will forever be a grieving mother and my son will forever be a grieving brother who will no longer get to grow up with his sister. Kamala Harris has never reached out to me just even as a human to give her condolences as a humane person running this country. I think it's very sad that she can't even just give me an open apology, sincere apology. She's attempted to apologize to me just days before this election. I find it very inconvenient and a convenience for her. I appreciate everything Donald Trump, Senator Ted Cruz has done for me. They've been a tremendous amount of help for me and my family during this incredibly hard, hard journey for me. I want to thank everybody for listening to my words. Thank you. Oh, huff and all puff, okay. Jessica Alba was also somebody who was in attendance. I'm looking at the rally in Houston. Um, Kelly Rowland also uh, brought her out Beyonce it is I'm looking at a clip right now yeah uh I'm even there's even a clip that I can't show you somebody who yelled at a toddler in her face at outside of the Kamala rally 
Uh, yeah, I can't, I can't show y'all that at all. I don't want no problem, but I can let y'all hear a bit of a little bit of the audio. So y'all know that. That was her yelling in the kid's face. Um, <laughs> but I can't show y'all that clip for obvious reasons. Let me see if we got any more. <clears throat> Just trying to walk down the sidewalk outside of Kamala Harry right Riley in Houston. Oh nope, can't play that. There's music going. Yeah, yeah, I wish I could show y'all the screen, but y'all know how this goes with this platform. But Beyonce really joined. That mean that means Jay-Z joined too, now. That's all I'm saying. Kelly Rowland's speech. Oh, she spoke? Oh Lord. Let's see what Destiny Child has to say. Welcome. Welcome, welcome, everybody. Welcome to my Houston family. I am so proud to be here back in Houston with my mama T and my sister. Welcome to this day, this remarkable, this joyous day. A date, a day, Painful day. A, a time, a moment with weight and meaning for our country, for our people and for the world. A moment, Houston, where we grab back the pen from those who are trying to write an American story of division and hatred. That's you guys. A moment when we grab back the pen from those who are trying to write an American story of misogyny and racism. We are grabbing back the pen from those who are trying to write an American story that would deny the right for women to make our own decisions about our bodies. How about you make your own decision to close your freaking legs? That's a really great decision for your body. Outside of that, you have birth control. You know, we worked on this whole women's rights thing, right? You have the right to make them wear a condom. You know, you have a lot of rights. But y'all keep making it seem like murder is OK. I don't understand this. And you call yourself God fear it. Make it make sense. Houston, we are grabbing back the pen. We are grabbing back the pen, that pen to forge a new path with Kamala Harris and Tim Waltz. We are grabbing back the pen to write a new American story, a story of community, of equality, strength, of kindness, and of hope. When I was a little girl, and I pledged allegiance to the United States of America, that meant something to me. That flag meant something to me. And today, that means grabbing that pen and casting my vote as I- I'm so happy that it actually means something to you because a lot of people on the, I'm interrupting a lot. Y'all annoy me so. That pen and casting my vote as I already did two days ago for Kamala Harris and Tim Waltz. Now Houston, you've already had a hand in creating destiny. So do what you do and do this thing again. I'll just say this, okay? We don't want to do it again, okay? We don't want to do that again, okay? We we had Kamala. We don't want no more Kamala Harris. I don't see why you people continue to try to push her down our throat. I don't get it. You had the doctors who showed a clear indication of what um, the Kamala Harris, Biden Harris uh, um, administration is, man. Oh my gosh, like. Dog, then you go from that to getting booed and can't even control the crowd and your whole thing. Oh, they're at the wrong rally. They're at the wrong rally, man. Oh my gosh. Then y'all talking about abortions. Um, uh, an abortionist isn't who I would consider doctors anyway. They don't deserve the title. Doctors taking oath to do no harm. Abortionist's sole purpose is unalive.